Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Women's Atmosphere Pink Air Jordan 1s. Yeah, you saw that right, it was my wife. She's gonna be in today's video too. So first things first, I'm gonna need you to help me go through the review, or actually I might have to help you go through the review, but typically we start with the box, then we crack it open, then we mm -hmm. say, oh, we got the shoe, all the different stuff, so give us the uh, impressions of the box first. Well, you got the shoe. Oh, we, we haven't made it to that shoe. part yet. We haven't made it to that part yet. We gotta okay, get to the okay. box. All this right, is right, the right. box. So the box is red and black. I don't know anything about the boxes for any of the stuff. Honestly, it looks pretty basic to me. Okay. Um, so this is the OG style box. OG okay. style Jordan 1 box with the lift off lid. And then that one is normally black with red but this oh. one is red with black. So they kind of flip it when they do that, like on the women's releases or certain special Jordan 1 releases that are uh -oh. coming out. So. It's fancy, okay. Read the size tag, read the size tag. So it's my size, so. But he said he has to bring them back. So yeah. they're not for me, so I have to keep that in mind. But I'm gonna put it in a good word. We'll talk about that in a bit. We'll talk okay. about that in a bit. Okay, so what else am I looking at? Women's Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. And then the Atmosphere, colorways right here, yep. white, muslin, muslin and sail. sail. It's hard so to it's read. gonna be a very neutral type of uh, co like color. So those are all very neutral. We'll see. Muslin is like a off-white. Yep. Sail is like a cream. Well, let's find out. Okay. Okay, so let's lift off, out. wait, let's make sure it's all clear. All right, so lift off the lid, peel back the paper. And it's like, and then we got the shoe. Oh, we got the shoe. Lift up the lid. Peel back the paper. Peel back the paper. Now you gotta say, and then we got the shoe. But you get, before you do it, when you do it like this, you gotta say, and then we got the shoe. And pick it up. <laughs> okay, hold on, I gotta all right, do it. All right, all right, I got you. And then we got the shoe. Oh, we got oh. the shoe. <laughs> You gotta turn it this way oh, so you can see it. Oh, we got the shoe. Okay, so. It's pink and fuzzy. So Not first fuzzy. impressions, yeah, what do you think about these? She cute or whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's pink. It's a nice tone pink. Um, I, I mean, the materials look good. The leather looks good. I don't know what this fuzzy material is, but it kind of reminds me of the Canyon purple. That's even fuzzier. The fours, it's fuzzier. Yeah, that's a lot fuzzier. But like the look of it, I feel like it's kind of like similar. a hairy suede. They yeah. kind of call it something like that. So typically, we always start with the bottom. OG Air Jordan One also retro okay. style yeah. pink bottom. It's a good pink. You got that sail color on the midsole with the white, or the actually sail stitch on there too. Mm -hmm. And then the upper, you got the switch of materials and colors. So what do you think about the white oh, wow. leather compared to what? This is so soft. Was that suede over here? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Actually, that's really nice. <laughs> okay. Is there so, a side too? It's yeah, on, it's on it's this on side, side too. too. Okay. okay, so you got the suede around the collar on the back end. That's more of like a tan kind of creamy colorway. Mm -hmm. Matching the sock liner. Mm -hmm. More similar to the tongue right there. And then you got the white accents on the shoe with the leather. How do you feel about the white contrasting kind of with the sale? I think I'm okay with it, honestly, and I think it, they, they did a good like balance. If they would have made that sale, it would have been a little weird. Right, I got you. So I feel like they they balanced out the shoe with the white and the cream pretty, pretty well. Okay, okay. So as we feel the leather and the quality, it feels mm -hmm. pretty soft. Uh, it's kind of tumbled. You got the white leather on the sides, and then you got the suede throughout the other areas with the pink, um, and then you got the white Air Jordan Wings logo right here on the side, classic. Yeah. Nike Air on the tongue. Anything else popping out on the shoe that you're This seeing? is like kind of peachy toned. Like the tongue? Yeah, it's it like is. peachy. It's kind of a lot more faint, a lot more light. Yeah. In between like the sail and the pink, kind of got that mixture between the two with the colors like that. Mm -hmm. And then insole, you got that kind of muslin color with the pink Nike Air okay. on there. And that's kind of a base of the sneaker right there. Now. Do you want to know some history or anything like that? Normally yeah, we go sure. over history first, yeah. but this one in particular, there's not too much history oh, behind it. Sorry, what? I had a itch in my nose. You got a sneeze? Oh no, something was coming up in there. <laughs> Okay, so, good. yeah, normally we go over the history, but there's not too much history behind this sneaker. The Hyper Royal Air Jordan 1, they did this in a men's colorway. So the gray, there was a gray swoosh right here, and then the rest of this part was blue, and it was very similar. What kind of blue? Like a, it was like a wash blue, like a royal. 
Royal? That's like a, not Walsh. It, but it was like Walsh though. Like you oh, see how okay. this has like those kind of different. Yeah, yeah. It looked like that, but it was a blue. So it kind of looked baby blue, Wash Royal okay, kind of mix. Okay. Um, I have them <laughs> in the other room. I just was too lazy to go grab them. I messed up. Either way, I'll show you those later. We'll pop okay. up a picture. Okay. Um, but they kind of did that as a men's version and then this one as a women's version. Mm -hmm. They're not really tied together in a sense, but a lot of people did compare them in different videos and stuff. Wait, so you have the men's version mm -hmm. in your size. Yeah. That means I have to have these in my size so oh, that we can match. Really? I thought you was off of high tops. What happened to that? I mean, they're cute. It's cute. <laughs> it's cute. It, I mean, don't get me wrong. Okay, so if this was a low top, you'd be all over it. Oh, yeah. All day. For sure. Okay, but it's a high top. What would you rate it out of 10? Out of 10? 7.8. 7.8. Okay, that's solid. That's not bad. I think these are gonna be a problem. Like, I think a lot of people are gonna be going after them. Really? What do you think about the release? Um, I think men and women are gonna go after them. Yeah, 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 definitely. I would say both both genders for sure. Um, I mean, how affordable is it? I mean, well, it's retail, 170 bucks. Or women's, I think, is the same price. I don't know. I gotta check and see. I think are it's women's like, cheaper? Because I mean, it's less material most I don't of the time. Know. It might be like 10 or $20 cheaper, if anything. Oh, okay. I don't remember, but I think they're the same price now. Okay. Yeah. I think people will like them. I'm, I mean, it's okay. First of all, I feel like there's not a ton of pink shoes in general, but this is kind of special because it's not an obnoxious pink. And that means, you know, both people yeah. can rock it. Mm -hmm. Like, not to say that people can't, you know, whatever. But I feel like because it's more toned down mm -hmm. and all the other materials are like, you know, like more neutral tones, like you can kind of wear this with more things. Right. So I feel like it's kind of more universal to, yeah. to everybody. Like you can almost wear it with any color type situation, like just because it's like closer to the tans and the whites mm -hmm. and the creams and stuff. I understand that too. That makes yeah. sense. I think a lot of people are going to be going after these. I think they are going to be a problem. I know Jordan 1s aren't as hot as Jordan 4s are right now. Yeah. So I can see like the hype slowly dying down. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, uh, anybody in your city, you're going to have to like go after the shoe. You're going to have to get it. I don't think it's just going to be sitting on shelves. No. You think it will? I don't think it will. I don't think it's going to be sitting on shelves. I think it'll be at least hitting for a little bit over retail and like if it's 170 or 160 somewhere around there they might be hitting for that I mean, 225 that's pretty cheap. 250 yeah i was going to say that's pretty cheap i don't know it might be we might we'll see you want to see let's check out the polls and see what oh, everybody's whatever, talking yeah. about that yeah i posted a poll on my instagram like i always do if you guys haven't already make sure you follow me on ig so you guys can see all the poll results here on the channel but basically what i like to do is ask the people a simple simple question is the shoe fire or is the shoe trash? And then the results, you know, they say what they say and then we just do what we do and just see what's up. 72% of the people said fire and 28% of the people said trash. Okay. So what do you think about the percentages just based off of like some shoes get to 80%, 90%, close to 100%? Like, what do you think about this? I think that that's pretty accurate and I feel like as I'm sitting here and looking at them more I'm like okay like I think this is a pretty solid shoe I might even raise my you know my initial thoughts on it really yeah so oh actually you said 7.8 yeah, I said 7.8 and that's basically 7.2 so I you're actually really close to what everybody else thinks yeah uh, on that but I feel like That's if they had it in hand, like, I mean, the materials are good. This is a nice shoe. It's Yeah, they, they did a good job with, like, putting this together. This is definitely a really nice shoe. So they come out, like, <laughs> in a couple months. like In a couple of months? I think, or April or Mar May. I don't know, something like that. They come out My in a while. My birthday month? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're just trying to... <laughs> so, again, I uh, got these from the people over at Hearth and they're obviously a women's pair mm -hmm. so i was like oh what's up let's see if they got a size seven because you know i always try to get the size 13 it, you know because i sometimes i might keep the pair mm -hmm. uh and then I, was, I wanted to see what you thought about these yeah. and then after that i can talk to them and try to work out some deals and everything but yeah, yeah. if you guys haven't already make sure you check out hearth uh all the links and everything will be down below in the description for their instagram website and all those different things they got these earlier they got some other stuff early and then they got a bunch of great stuff uh, at the store in the mall and on the website you've been to the store before yeah i like hearth i think it's i think it's a really cool spot now are you saying that just because you're trying to get the plug on no the no, no <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I think it's a good store. I think they put a lot of effort and thought into how they set it up, mm -hmm. and it's it's really well put together. Mm -hmm. So, okay. and they're cool. They're chill. Like I like them. Yeah. No, yeah. they got a good vibe for sure. So I think that's gonna do it. You want to wrap it up and say anything else before we go? Um, we need to eat. We need to eat. <laughs> what? I was just thinking like. I don't know, because I feel like my energy maybe is a little bit lower right now, because I am just... Yeah, it's 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 seven point... Eight. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. My DNA, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA